Hey friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this week's vlog, I'll start off by taking you on the road with me as I head out of town for one of my two week Aldi grocery hauls. Next, we'll chat a bit about non-toxic deodorants and I'll share my current favorite all natural deodorant brand with you, as well as a new one I'm trying out. The boys and I will then take you out to the garden to see if one of Ezra's watermelons are ready to eat. And later I'll share some updates on our patio project with you as well. Finally, we'll wrap up the week with some food prep just in time for a traditional Sunday family lunch. Enjoy and thanks for watching this week's vlog. Hey guys, it's Monday and I am headed out of town to go grocery shopping. Um, I am in the car, so I'm sorry if I'm not looking at the camera, I have to look at the road. <laughs> um, so I'm actually um, headed out of town to go grocery shopping. I'm going to do one of my two week Aldi shopping hauls. I have been doing this for about maybe two or three months now and so far everything is going well. I really enjoy only having to go to the grocery store every two weeks. It's not been any more difficult to plan a two week meal plan and stick with it um, than it is every single week, like doing a meal plan every single week. So um, I think that this is something that I'm gonna stick with. Um, we live in a very rural area of Upper East Tennessee and so there are grocery stores where we live, but I feel like if I can go out of town and shop at Aldi's, then I'm saving more money. And I actually am saving quite a bit more money. I feel like, I'm, I'm, I feel like our grocery bill has been cut in half by shopping at Aldi's, um, honestly. And we haven't really been eating out as much as we used to. I mean, we may eat out once a week. Sometimes we eat out twice a week. Um, but really just driving, it makes it worth driving out of town just to go to Aldi's because they save you so much money on food there um, that it's been worth it. Um, again, it's not really that much more work trying to do a two week meal plan and it is a lot more buying two weeks worth of groceries. I actually sometimes feel a little self-conscious because I'm in the store and my buggy is sometimes like overflowing. It's kind of embarrassing sometimes. I feel like I'm feeding six kids and this is for two weeks, people. Don't judge me. <laughs> I'm not really buying this much food. Anyway, um, so other than the amount of groceries that I'm buying and bringing home, um, it's not really that big of a deal to plan two weeks worth of um, meals, go out of town every other week to the Aldi's that's closest to us and get meals there or get our food there. Um, so yeah. Uh, that's what I'm doing today. I I got up this morning and we had a long weekend. We weren't home very much. It was pretty busy, so I did not get any um, cleaning on my house done this weekend. I didn't get a meal plan made. I normally go to all these on Saturdays, but I didn't get that done this weekend because, like I said, we were busy. So this car is wanting to pass me, so I'm gonna let him go by. Anyway. Um, so today, I decided instead of trying to work and get a bunch of stuff done, I'm just gonna clean the house. I had the boys help and we just spent the morning and we really did all the things that we normally would do on a Saturday morning, but we didn't get that done this last Saturday. So we got that done this morning and then um, we had lunch with Dean and then after lunch, I planned out our two week meal plan. I made a grocery list. I went through my pantry and all my cabinets where I keep food. Um, to see what I was running low on and what I needed to buy. Um, sometimes I'll go through like our bathroom supplies too and see if there's anything I need to pick up while I'm out. So yeah, I have grocery plan, grocery list, meal plan for two weeks, I'm good. So we'll see what all I can get and how much money I can save this week. Um, next week is actually gonna be kind of weird. This week we're for sure gonna be home and we're gonna be making all of our meals, but next week we may do our family staycation next week. It really depends on the weather. If the weather's really nasty next weekend, then we will do it the following week. So I have made a two week meal plan. We'll see if the second week's worth of food gets eaten. I am not really buying a ton of fresh fruits and vegetables just in case we're not really at home or eating at home that much next week. I'm, I'm not really sure what all we're doing. We haven't really thought through our staycation all that much. We've talked about it here and there, but Dean have not, we, Dean and I have not sat down and like planned everything out. So we need to do that sometime soon <laughs> because it's coming up fast. Um, but I have planned a bunch of our meals around like veggies and stuff in our meals around 
vegetables that I have in the freezers or leftover things that I've put away, that I've cooked and put away. So that shouldn't be that big a deal. I shouldn't have to buy too many fresh things today. And if we go on vacation next week, them go bad or something like that. So we will see. Anyway, when I get home, if I get home at a decent time, um, because it takes me about 45 minutes to an hour to drive out of town to the Aldi's and then get back all the way back in and all the groceries unloaded. If I get back in time, I may try to spread all of the things that I bought for my two week plan out. I'll share the meal plan with you guys for two weeks and show you what I got. A little Aldi haul, if you will. Um, we'll just see. We'll see what time it is and how tired I feel when I get back. So anyway, if I do get to that, then I will talk to you guys then. And if not, then I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, it's Tuesday and I just finished up all of my work for today and I'm getting ready to head in the kitchen and make some dinner. Um, Dean's out back working on the patio and the boys have finished all of their little summer school projects for the day um, that I made up as a part of our summer break week and they are in the family room watching some YouTubers, I think Minecraft YouTubers, for just a little while before dinner. So anyway, I thought before I went in the kitchen and started making dinner, I would jump on here really quickly and share some happy mail that came um, yesterday in the mail with you guys. Now, um, let's talk about non-toxic healthy deodorant for just a quick second. So removing toxins um, from my life <laughs> is like an ongoing process. It's a never ending thing. Sometimes I do really well in certain areas and other times I don't do so well and then I have to kind of recover or sometimes like I'll find a really great product that I like and then they'll, somebody will stop making it and then I have to find something else again. So anyway, um, and then sometimes they're just natural products that just don't work as well as what you're used to when with store-bought products. And so it takes a while to find like the perfect thing for you. Okay, sorry, I had a kid coming in crying and having a meltdown, so I had to take a break. <laughs> okay, so where was I? Um, oh yeah, so natural deodorant. So deodorant for me has been one of those things that it's taking, taken me a long time to find a brand that works for me. Either some of them left me like wet or greasy feeling, or um, they didn't work, and I felt like I was stinky three hours later or whatever, but I have finally found an all natural deodorant that I like. And I think this is probably backward for you on the screen, but it's Kopari deodorant from Amazon. And they have two different versions. One is a fragrance free version, and that is the one that I use. There's another one, um, it'll have the little double F on it if it's fragrance free. There's another one that is a driftwood version, and it smells good, but it has like fragrances in it which are not as natural. So I use the fragrance free version. It's coconut oil based. It doesn't have baking soda in it, so it, it doesn't irritate you. Some, some people are irritated by baking soda. So anyway, I've been using this for a year now. I'm really impressed with it. It lasts all day long. It works really well for me. So I think um, when it comes to making the switch from um, conventional store-bought products to natural products, you just have to try things and see what works for you. Now, here's to the Happy Mail. Um, I have a friend, Rachel, who is the owner of Good Flower Farm. You can see a picture of her right there. And she and I have been friends, um, online friends, for probably six or seven years now. Um, we got to know each other back when we first had Etsy shops and baby blogs, and we've just been friends for a long time. Back when I was the blog coordinator for the Herbal Academy, she was one of our writers, and so I got to know her a little bit better during that time. So. Um, she is a great herbalist and she is a great herb farmer and she makes natural herbal skincare products. So she and I decided that we would work together and do a fun little giveaway on Instagram with some of the skincare products that she's making. So she sent me some of the herbal deodorants that she sells. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is a lavender and tea tree deodorant. And then this one is a pine and cedar wood deodorant. I'm going to give this one to Dean and let him try it. And then this one is the one I'm really excited about. It's charcoal citrus deodorant. 
Now, my sister-in-law uses, um, or I should say one of my sister's-in-law, <laughs> um, she uses a charcoal deodorant and she loves it. And she says that it lasts all day long and helps her feel like um, she smells fresh and all of that good stuff. But I've never tried a charcoal deodorant. So, when Rachel and I decided to do this um, giveaway collaboration together, I said, oh, I wanna try your charcoal version because I really would like to see how that works for me. Um, and so I have got to take some pictures of these and then Dee and I are gonna try them for a little while and see what we think and then I'm going to share them on Instagram and we're gonna do a giveaway together. So if you still haven't found a natural deodorant that you like and you're interested in doing that, definitely follow me over on Instagram. I'll leave a link in the description below where um, you can follow me and you'll see when this giveaway pops up. Um, there are gonna be five winners and each winner gets their choice of whichever deodorant that they like. And if you're interested in learning more about um, the Kapari deodorant that I've been using, um, I will also put that link in the description box below where you can get it on Amazon and you can try that and see if that works for you too. It doesn't have any fragrance, but Rachel's from Good Flower Farm, she has a lot of different fragrances in her um, deodorants and these are all in little cardboard tubes and they're very pretty. And so they're all recyclable, natural, eco-friendly, two ounces per tube. All good stuff so I'm really excited to try these I'm really excited to do this giveaway with her it's fun when you have gotten to know someone online for a while now and you can collaborate and do something fun together for other people who are interested in natural living things like you are so all right I'm gonna head to the kitchen and make some dinner and I don't know what I'll get into later today so I will catch you guys tomorrow bye okay so it is Thursday and the boys are thinking that it's a good time to try harvesting one of the watermelon that we've grown this year. Is that the biggest one? This is the biggest one. So I think the variety that we planted are like smaller anyway. They're not like the really large 30 pound watermelons. They're little. Okay, so Ezra, these are your watermelon, mm -hmm. right? You, you got these seeds, you planted them. Do you wanna harvest this one? Now, Judah, tell me what you looked up online and what it said about telling if it's ready or not. It said that you can tell if it's ready if it sounds hollow, like if it sounds really hollow like this. Uh-huh. And if it's got a white spot. Now, I turned it over, so it wouldn't have a white spot on the bottom, which it normally does, So I turned it over. So it has a semi-white spot right here, about uh -huh. right here, which I think is good. But it also said that this thing has to be completely round, which is not. But they also said... Well, part of um, them are. Look at this one yeah, right here. Yeah, part of them are. Look at this one right there. See it? That one's totally this brown. One no, it said even a little bit doesn't count. Oh, really? It has to be yeah. totally brown? But it's okay. Okay. Um, it also said that if you... Um, from 85 days from the time you planted them, they should be ready. So I think... And we're 90-something, uh, right? We're 95, I think. 94, 95? 94. Okay, so half of the signs... We're hitting half of the signs and then the other half we're not. So we're really, this is the biggest one. Some of the others definitely look small and not ready yet. Um, but this one sounds really hollow, right? When you, when you like tap definitely. it. All right, so we're gonna okay, give this here. one a go and try. <laughs> yeah, that one doesn't sound as good as this here, one. As All right, Ezra, you're gonna go cut it. We're gonna, we're gonna right test here. this one, the big one. And we're right gonna here. see, and if it's not ready, then we'll know to leave the others yeah. for quite a bit longer. Oh, mm -hmm. well, I got it. Did you get it? All right, let's take it inside cut two vines, which is okay. and cut it open and okay. see what we got. <laughs> Good job, Ez. Are you excited? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, Judah. Um, are you gonna cut it straight down the middle or what? You start like here at the vine, and then you start that. Oh, this. your fingers. <laughs> You're making me see, nervous. I'm just putting it here until I get it like. Like, so oh, I it's cutting this. pretty easily. Yeah. That's a good sign. Like, let's see. And then the, the person on the YouTube video, she, oh, there it is. Um, oh, she will hold it mostly open. Uh, no, do it with yeah, I think you cut it a bit more. Is it pink inside there? Yeah, I can see. I would I cut it almost it. through to the bottom. So flip it upside down. Inside. Oh, um, oh, sorry. Like it's stuck. There we go. Alright, I think I can pee it, pull it. Yeah, how is it? Guys, on Sunday, we're gonna oh, eat this. No, no, it wasn't ready. <laughs> See, it's Lesson hard. learned. It was stink, but it was spoon. <laughs> you guys are gonna eat some. Yeah. 
um, raw watermelon. Okay, no. so we really do need to wait for even the, the hollow sound kind of tricked what? us, but we still Did need to wait everything? for everything to dry up. Are you more. eating that? Yeah. yeah. You're gross. Okay, hey, at least so it's not waste. Watermelon <laughs> fell. Mm -mm. We have three guys, more. Does it taste good? The guys, we it's did still it. not ready. Look at how much white is on the outside. And guys. it's definitely not pink enough. And the seeds are not black at all. So we actually guys. need to wait much longer than 85 days. Guys, I was going to say I'm going to have the bowl, which is... Um, oh, okay. Right. Well, we have three more to try. We'll no, wait a bit longer. No, no, no. Hey guys, Megan here. It is Saturday and Dean and I are getting ready to head outside and get a good bit of work done on our patio area today. So, I didn't vlog any on Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday because honestly, I don't feel like there was a whole lot going on and those uh, Wednesday and Thursday at least tend to be busy days for us. We have um, like evening activities and things that we have to do and I worked all day and um, this is our last week of our summer break for homeschooling and so I was just like not in the mood honestly to vlog. I guess I just didn't think there was really anything to vlog about. We have an upset kid. Yes, Ez, come here. What's the matter? I did just drop a blanket on me and he just kicked me out. Like he actually kicked me. He actually kicked you out of his room? <gasps> he actually kicked me. Oh, mama will deal with that mean old brother in a minute. <laughs> Drama among boys all the time. Anyway, um, so I'm sitting here. Dean has gone to go get some rock for, um, I guess to lay some of the bigger pavers on for our fire pit. He's gotta do something with that. Anyway, so he's gone to get rock. I'm still drinking my cup of coffee. I swear y'all, this is, I've been, it's been an hour and I'm halfway through. Hi, Ezra. Hey, hi. <laughs> anyway, um, so I have some work clothes on and I'm gonna go out and help him because he needs me to like mark lines on the rocks so he can cut them. We rented a saw for the weekend because we're really trying to make a lot of progress getting this border done on um, the paver area and the rocks that go around the border. So we're trying to get as much cut as possible. And then we're gonna do that today. And hopefully if I get that done in time, I will still have time to mow because the grass, it's rained a lot this week here in East Tennessee. The grass is really tall and I need to mow. And um, I want to try to get my refrigerator and my oven clean today because I don't clean those things that often and they're really a hot mess and they need cleaned. And I made shepherd's pie last night and I let, I forgot to put something in the bottom of the stove, bottom of the oven, bottom of the oven, and it spilled over the sides. And now I have a big black nasty burnt thing on my oven and I need to clean it up. So those are my plans for the day. Um, I will take you guys along here and there. But anyway, I just wanted to say sorry that I didn't vlog on Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. I just disappeared. But hopefully I have enough good stuff for you in this weekly vlog and it's not too boring. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Okay, so Dean and I had to stop because it started raining. But I wanted to show you what we were working on today. We were working on the border. We stopped over here because of the rain. So he's got to cut a couple blocks so we can kind of push that up to the concrete. But we used a different color paver. It sort of matches some of the pavers in the main part of the patio. But there's a border going all the way around. And you can see it goes all the way over there. That side's finished. And we have to cut stone, some pavers, like right along the edge right through here. Um, and match everything up. And then Dean has left and gone to Lowe's with Uriah. Um, and he's getting some lava rock that'll go right around the edge of the fire pit. And we have other blocks that we'll build the fire pit up with. And we have to continue to cut pavers tomorrow to go around the edge there. And then we're using the same stone as the fire pit back here. There will, there will be like a big three or three foot, probably three foot wall, maybe four foot. I'm not sure. All along the back, you can see the big stone there. So our outside border has to meet up with that wall and then we will stack the stone and get some top stones. I'm not sure what those are called, capstones maybe. And then there will be a wall in the back that people can set on. And then there will be chairs around the fire pit. And um, 
we'll probably have maybe like a rug out here or something not really sure um, once the walls built we'll have some like really tall plants back behind the wall and then they'll get smaller as they come around the edge all the way to meet the um, concrete for what's already back here yeah. so anyway um, it's kind of messy and muddy <laughs> right now and half put together but it's getting there um, we actually have to get some stone cleaner also because some of the stone are really dirty. We'll do that after we get everything done. But anyway, this is where we are at right now. And look at all of this stuff. It's like a disaster zone over here where all of these pavers are. <laughs> we haven't been able to mow or weedy in this area. It's just a mess. I can't wait for it to all be cleaned up all of this grass cut to look nice and neat. Next year, I'll work on all of the plants around this area because I won't be able to do that this year. But anyway. Yeah. All right, so Mum Mum, Dean's mom, bought the boys um, some little kits. What are these called, say? Like little connects kits or something. Build your own farm tractor. Is that what you're making? The farm tractor. Cool. Yeah. All right. Toy. It's from Totally Cool Toys. It says, "Mine. I chose this one because I could build different ones. Um, I decided to build um, this one with a scooper. Let me see." No, wait, I decided to build this one with the plower. Okay. Basically right now, this is all I have. I'm working on this part, which is the top of it. Okay. So. Okay, so Judah's building one too. His is a helicopter. And then Ezra has a fire truck, I believe, and Uriah has a dump truck. But Uriah's with daddy there. They're on like a man's night kind of thing tonight. They went to Lowe's to pick up some lava rock for the patio, a toilet because the bathroom toilet in the boys' bathroom is leaking. It's an old toilet that was in the house and we've known we were gonna need to replace it at some point, but now is the time. Um, and then he's grabbing some things from the grocery store for me. And so the boys are working on these little projects. And after this, we get to play our video games. <laughs> Can't play video games all day long, Zay. That's why I'm doing this. Uh -huh. It's not all day long. <laughs> all right, so I'll let you get back to it. You can show me when you're done what it looks like. Okay. Hey guys, it's Sunday and I just got back from church and um, I came home a little bit early before Dean and the boys to get lunch prepped for um, my in-laws house because we always have our Sunday pitch-in meal. And I, we're having taco salad, I think, taco salad. So I'm bringing sliced avocados and I've got black beans in the oven. Um, and that's what I'm supposed to bring for today. So I came home a little bit early to get that prepped and to get a little bit of work done. And I wanted to jump on here really quickly to uh, wrap this weekly vlog up. And I wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching it. I'm sorry, I feel like there wasn't a whole lot going on this week. It rained a lot. We had some house projects to get to. We just had like a really laid back week since it was our last week for our like summer homeschool break. But anyway, um, next week things will be back to normal. We should be back in a regular routine. We're gonna have a week of school. Um, we're also gonna be planning our vacation, staycation kind of thing next week because we're going on vacation the following week. Um, and I'll go ahead and tell you guys, I'm going to try to vlog daily during our vacation um, just because I want to wrap or I want to like save those memories and record all of that stuff so I don't know if I'll get to it because I've never done like a daily vlog thing so I'm gonna try it and we'll see how it goes um, can you guys yeah you guys can see Eclipse she's over here I don't know why she sits by the sink she's so funny Eclipse Kitty what are you doing what are you doing cat's doing anyway I want to come on here and wrap this video up so I appreciate you guys watching it I hope you enjoy getting another glimpse at a week in our life and I will see you guys in next week's video bye 
All right, thanks so much for watching this week's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel to be notified of upcoming videos, and be sure to leave me a comment in the comment section below so I can connect with you there. Talk to you later.